What's up, YouTube? I got a quick haul I want to share with you guys today. Picked up two items from John Elliott. This first item is a hoodie. This is called the Hooded Villain hoodie. And the second piece is a pair of sweatpants. These are called the LA sweatpants. Again, both of these pieces are from John Elliott. So for this video, I want to quickly review these products. These are some popular products from the John Elliott brand. Uh, quickly going to talk about the materials and the sizing for each of these pieces and give my overall thoughts. So with that being said, let's get into it. So first off, I want to talk about this hoodie. Again, this is called the Hooded Villain hoodie. And it's really a basic hoodie from far away. It's a solid color, um, no logos or anything like that. And in this case, I got the Twilight colorway, which is really like a faded pink slash peach type of colorway. So in terms of the Hooded Villain hoodie, there's a couple of hallmark features I want to point out. For one, there is no drawstring. The hood is a very simple hood that pretty much just attaches and overlaps at the front right here. Second of all, just know that this hoodie is a slim fitting hoodie. It's by no means a baggy hoodie that you see on most other hoodies. It has a very slim build and a slim fit. So I think this hoodie would be great if you are on the slim slash skinny end. It does run quite slim along the torso and especially in the arms. If you do want to accentuate your arms a little more, then this hoodie would be great. Or again, if you do have a slim slash skinny build like me, then this hoodie would also be great for your body type. The other thing about a slim hoodie in general is that it does uh, give a little bit more of a classy feel. So of course you're not going to look as bummy with like a typical baggy slash oversized type of hoodie. This being slim will look more great to dress up in. One more feature and this is the most prominent and important feature is that the sides do have these zippers. These are Riri zippers which means that these zippers are really good quality and when you have them in hand they're actually really shiny and like the chrome on it is uh, it stands out quite a bit. These two zippers allow for your torso to be a little more adjustable. Uh, you can open it up to just either show off a little more layering or it just allows things to feel a little more roomy and open so that you can uh, slide your hoodie off on and off a little easier. Inside the hoodie, when you zip both zippers up, is a hidden kangaroo pocket. I think having the kangaroo pocket is still a neat feature because uh, in case your hands get cold, uh, you can warm them up inside or if you still need a pocket to just store your things. So yeah, those are the main features. Otherwise, everything again is a solid color, no branding, no other um, noticeable patterns or anything like that. Uh, if anything, you do see the stitching is a little bit of a darker color, but uh, really nothing else to notice about the design. In terms of fit, uh, just for reference, I am five foot eight and about 155 pounds, and I went with a size two, which is a medium. I think this is pretty much the perfect fit for me. Uh, if anything, it's just a little bit on the longer side in the back, so it does cover my butt. Um, so if you feel like you do want something shorter, you might want to size down. But from a torso and slim fitting perspective, I think the slim fit was perfect, at least for my body shape. Just know that this is a slim fitting hoodie. So again, if you do want a more oversized feel or fit, you should either size up or go with another hoodie or another model. All right, next up, let's quickly talk about these pants. These again are called the LA Sweatpants from John Elliott. What I got here is pretty much an all maroon colorway. Uh, on the website it's called the Circus colorway, but it's pretty much a dark red slash maroon. Just some quick hallmark features about these pants. You have uh, an elastic waistband. You have some cream colored drawstrings with a nice aglet touch at the tip. On the rear or the back side of the pants, you have a one pocket on the right side. And then at the bottoms, you have an ankle cuff to open it at the bottom. So these sweatpants are categorized as a relaxed fit, which is a little bit on the roomy end. But personally for me, when I wear them, they actually don't feel roomy at all. In fact, to me, they're pretty much perfect. They're not too slim or skinny like the hoodie, uh, but they're not super baggy or overdone either. Uh, at least again, for me, I feel like it's a very comfortable, relaxed, but uh, very comfortable fit for me. So just from the outside perspective, there's really not much to say about these pants. Again, just looking from them afar, they're just a very basic maroon sweatpants. Uh, no logos, no designs, no nothing. Uh, just plain old maroon sweatpants. But what differentiates these from others is just the quality. If you have these in hand, they're a little bit more on the heavier weight. Um, the inside is made of like a French terry type of material. And again, you could just feel the quality and the durability of these sweatpants when you have them in person. Just again, the other details from the cream drawstrings to the metal aglet tips on the drawstrings, uh, just small details that make this pants feel and look very good quality. 
I also really do like the ankle cuffs at the bottom. Uh, they're not super skinny, but they do taper the pants just a little bit. So basically these pants will allow you to show off any sneakers you wear very nicely. This is kind of that retro type of aesthetic with the baggy sweatpants and the cuff that you know pretty much looks like a scrunchie. But again, if you want to show off your kicks or if you want to pull off like a very comfortable, casual, athleisure, streetwear type of fit, then these pants would be perfect. Now let's quickly talk about sizing for these pants. Again, for reference, I am 5'8". Uh, my waist size is about a 31, 32. I weigh about 155 pounds. And I also went with a size two, which is a medium. From a waist and a width perspective, I think these are perfect and true to size. Uh, but I will say that because I am 5'8", which to me I guess is considered a little bit short, uh, these pants do feel and run a little bit long. Which means when I do have them on body and when I'm wearing them, they do show a little bit of a stacking action at the bottom of the leg. Again, not a big deal for me. Ideally, I would have liked these pants to be a little shorter to accommodate for my height, but otherwise I can't complain in terms of the width and the uh, roominess along the thigh. Overall, I would still recommend true to size. So if you've been following me on my channel at all, you've seen some of my John Elliott videos and clothing hauls in the past. I'm no stranger to John Elliott, and I really like what he's doing when it comes to streetwear, athleisure wear, uh, especially when it comes to like sweatshirts and uh, sweatpants. I will say this though, because I will admit that his clothes are super overpriced. Anytime I buy John Elliott, I always look for or wait for a certain sale before I cop. I was lucky enough to cop both this hoodie and these sweatpants for well over 50% off. I pretty much paid about $100 for these. I think the Hooded Villain hoodie uh, retails for about $260, something like that. And then these LA sweatpants, I believe, are about $200. I, again, that's a rough estimate because I can't remember off the top of my head, but that's just really crazy to me. And I know it can sound really crazy too for someone who just doesn't care about clothes like that like I do. Um, so yeah, again, I was able to get these for well over 50% off, but even so it's way overpriced for full retail. So I really don't recommend you go full retail unless you have the money to do that. I will say that the quality is there. Uh, when you have these kind of hoodies and sweatpants in hand, although they do look average from a distance, when you have them up close or when you actually put it on, it really does feel uh, really good quality. Uh, the material is a lot more durable, the comfort is there. Uh, it's just one of those things where you're paying for the quality, the construction, and the aesthetic that otherwise not many other brands can mimic. Of course, I'm sure you can find hoodies of this similar colorway uh, for much cheaper. Um, but again, if you do want that specific aesthetic or quality, uh, John Elliott is the way to go as long as you can find a good discount on it. But yeah, anyways, if you have any other questions about these specific products, uh, feel free to reach out to me and I'll help you the best I can. If you found this video helpful, please do me a huge favor and hit that like button. It'll help me out a lot and consider subscribing for more content on style, sneakers, and science. While you're at it, be sure to check out some of my other videos here or here. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.